the day began. Very cold with fairly light wind. As we went through the day, we warmed up very nicely and those winds really picked up. Now tomorrow, it's a different ball game. We're going to start out not as cold and temperatures will be in the upper 20s. So it's, hey, that's a brisk start to the day, but not as cold as it was this morning. We get you to lunchtime. Instead of seeing temperatures jump a good 20 degrees between breakfast and lunch, we're going up a couple. We're going to be in the mid-30s at that point. On our way to an afternoon where it'll be a less windy day, but temperatures also a whole lot chillier. About 10 degrees cooler than today will be in the mid-30s. So let's talk about how we get there. First, we want to take you out with the Kentucky One Health weather bug camera. And we are looking from the Lexington Center at the Christmas tree downtown. Why? Because the Christmas tree has been doing this in the wind gusts as we've gone through the last few hours. Actually, it's calmed down just a little bit because we were also watching the, uh, the walls of the tent there being blown in by the strong winds that were going on. So you can never depend on a good wind gust when you need one. Welcome to Murphy's Law of Weather. Max Track Live Doppler. Not much going on tonight. We could see a flurry wander by with the cold front as the wind shifts. Tomorrow, we're going to start a crisp couple of days. Nothing dramatically cold, but certainly cold enough. In the eight-day forecast, there's plenty of mild around as we go through Christmas week. But, well, yeah, we got something that we may show you just for some fun a little bit later on here. The wind gusts, and it is still howling up across northern Kentucky. Wind gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour. In fact, many of us are in that 30 to 40 mile per hour range. So, again, stuff moving around outside. If it wasn't anchored down, uh, you're looking at those winds that will be dying down as we go through the next few hours. So, again, 30 mile per hour plus wind gusts out of the southwest here at 11 o'clock. Let's take our future track and move then into the middle of the night where the winds are now westerly as the front goes by and the gusts are going down. We continue then into the early morning. You see the blues showing up. That means those numbers continue to shrink. By 7 o'clock, it's a northwest wind bringing in the cold, but again, not as strongly. Made it to 46 today. That's, that's as warm as we've been all day. Mid-30s. You see the 30s continuing through Friday. There's your little warm-up coming in for the weekend. And again, 46 as warm as we've been all day at the Bluegrass Airport. Southwest wind at 18. Wind chill comes in at 39. So again, those southwest winds bringing in the warmth. And why do we like that? Because it also verified the forecast of 45 for today when you give yourself plus or minus 2. So again, those warm temperatures did come in, but they just came in after sundown. Uh, you've been watching snow flying up here to the north and a pretty good snow across parts of Michigan. We're just the very southern periphery of that. That's typical for a clipper where most of everything going on with it is to the north of the center, which is now moving its way across Ohio. Here comes your first cold front. Second one really has the cold air behind it. That moves through tomorrow morning. Those winds then turn north. There's your next bubble of Arctic high pressure coming in. We're going to replace that air mass, though, with one that has one of Pacific origin. Not so much on Friday, which will still be a cold day, but when that warm front goes by on Saturday, now we bring the wind in from the west, and that is what is going to bring in those milder temperatures. But the next big thing, this is, okay, for entertainment purposes, for kind of kicks and giggles here, but watch this area up here in northern Canada. Watch the red. That's the polar vortex, at least on the computer modeling. As we head toward Christmas Eve, it sets up shop around Marquette, Michigan. So again, something interesting at least to talk about, and don't forget the Salvation Army's red kettles. For tonight, wind slowly diminishing. We drop to the upper 20s, mid 30s tomorrow. Less wind, some sun, but certainly a cold day. Still chilly for us on Friday. Warmer, though, on Saturday. Rain comes in on Sunday. Could end in a couple of flakes on Monday. And more LAX 18 news after this.